G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, welcome to a Tech Tuesday. So what these episodes are, these are like a bit of a filler. I know I do my normal videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the question and answers, but sometimes we come across products, look, I don't think they're really worth doing a long, proper, full, in-depth episode, but there's still some cool stuff that I want to show you, more than just a mention, like in the question and answers. So, today, what we're going to be checking out, this is the first episode, I guess, of a Tech Tuesday. This is the UBAD VTX, the UBAD DMT VTX. It's a, it's a a pretty cool nifty little thing. I haven't seen a VTX quite like it yet. We're going to stick it on the bench and just, I guess, have a quick little squiz. All right, let's check it out. Alrighty, so here it is on the bench, I guess, for Tech Tuesday. Let's have a bit of a quick squiz at it. So uh, this is the UBAD DMT VTX. The first thing you're going to notice, well, there's actually a, a few things you're going to notice. This one, number one, it's got a pigtail solder to it, which is fantastic. We'll talk about that in a minute. It's the 36 by 36 sort of square. Usually people are just used to their flight controllers and a little bit more common the ESCs nowadays are coming in in this sort of square size. So it's great to see you know, look, they're compressing it down. I would probably like to see it in the 20 by 20 size in the future, but I'm not complaining because I think if you put it in the right build, this thing could make it very, very clean. Now, what I want to do, let's stick it on the scales, find out how, exactly how much it weighs. So we'll tear these off. There we go. Putting it on right here, it's coming in at 15 grams. Now, look, that's definitely not the lightest VTX. I don't think it's going to matter too much because, look, we're really only talking a few grams, but we are also weighing it with the pigtail on the back, which is a little bit different to some of those other VTXs out there. Now, I think that's a great idea because because in a crash, you know, what used to happen, you used to snap these connectors off your board and then your VTX was ruined, it would burn itself out. But it's great nowadays that they've got this pigtail attached to it and you sort of want that because this VTX, it's also not the cheapest. So, uh, you know, it's coming in at around 50 bucks or something like that. So it's definitely on the more pricey side. Now it is from the same guys who made the LaForge, UBAD, they make, and Hawkeye as well. They all make some fantastic stuff, but you are sort of paying for it as well. It's a bit of a premium, but it's also a premium product. Now some of the features on the board itself, I guess, one part I do like, you've got some little pads here at the front that takes a huge voltage. So from seven to 24 volts, which I think is great. So uh, we should be able to rig this thing up to some high voltage, high performance drones. Uh, at the front, you've got some other little connections, including your smart audio, all that sort of jazz, a button on the side. What I do like is this LED right here, and uh, I can't wait to fire that up. We're gonna do that in a minute and have a look what it looks like because it's meant to. Well, it says it displays quite a lot of information. Now, I think it's great, but the one thing I am worried about is in a crash, it's really only held on by these pins at the side. That's the only place where the contact is. All the rest of it is just sort of floating. So in a big enough crash, is that gonna move or if something presses on it, if you've got a really tight build, and look, I'm a bit guilty of this, sometimes you really cram it down and you're screwing things down and uh, you're trying to sort of cramming everything into fit, you might actually break this. So when you're building with this, you need to make sure you have enough room and I wouldn't recommend people just sort of press, pressing it together. And on top of that, you also need this sort of to be on top of your stack because if you if you have something on top of this, it's totally useless. There's no point having that LED unless you build around it and make sure that this is on the top of your craft. Anyway, what we should do, let's fire it up. I'll put an antenna on here and uh, we'll have a look at what the LED looks like. Alrighty, so I've soldered it up. Let's plug it in and have a bit of a look because it's got a really nice display on here. You guys are gonna love that. So plugging it in, DMT version 1.3 and straight away, Look how good that is. It's got a really, really nice clean display. How easy is that when you're in the field to see exactly what's going on? Because I know, look, Trappy's gonna get a bit upset at me here, the guys over at TBS. I love the Uni Unify Pro VTX. I think it's fantastic. What I cannot stand is how when you're trying to change channels, if you're not using smart audio, if something's come loose or something, and you're trying to press that button and you're looking at the flashes of the LEDs and the different colors, that drives me absolutely crazy. I can't stand that process. It's confusing. This one right here, this thing is super easy. Now what I, what you can notice too, it's also telling my exact battery voltage, so four cells right there. It's a pretty, pretty flat battery, but it's gonna get us through this video. And then on here, here's where the good stuff is. It tells you your exact band, your channel, and also your frequency, which is fantastic. And up the top, you might have seen it. It looked like it said doll sign. It's meant to say call sign, but that's because I went in and I changed the manual just a little bit. I had a little bit of a play before I plugged this in. Now what we do, if we press the button, that's how we cycle through the channel so you can see very quickly, or really, really responsive. I mean, look how fast you can cycle through. That's fantastic. Uh, if you hold it down for more than a quick press, you can see you cycle through the bands. And if you hold it down even longer, you go into the menu. So what we can look at here, here's our power levels, and to cycle through that, I guess it's a little short, a shorter press, not a really, really short press, but a medium press. We've got 25 milliwatts, 400, and the other option is 200. Here's where you can set up your call sign. So it used to say call sign, but I changed mine. So, you know, that's where I was mucking around with the menu. Going down here, we've got a low voltage 3.8 feature, and then we're gonna also exit. So to exit, you can either confirm on the button or just hold it down 
and it backs out. So a really, really simple setup. I really like how easy it is to read because you can imagine being out in the field and saying, hey, Trevor, what channel are you on? And he calls out something and then you're like, oh, okay, well, then you know exactly which one to cycle through, yada, yada, yada. Have you ever seen it? Oh, I held that one down a bit long. Have you ever seen it so easy and so clear when you want to cycle through and find your channel? I'm a massive fan. I think if you can see it, something like this, there's absolutely no confusion. You can just look straight at it. How many times have you looked at it and you're like, oh, I'm not sure what band I'm on, I'm not sure what channel. Is that channel one, band one, or it can be a little bit confusing. This thing absolutely kills it. And look, not only does it say your band and your channel, which look, a lot of them do, but sometimes, I, some of the companies can't get their act together and sometimes A1 can be the same as F1, whether it be the Fat Sharks or the Airwave, however people like to label it. But because we've got the frequency there, we can tell exactly what channel we're putting out on, which is gonna make our future flights very, very easy. So there it is, there's my Tech Tuesday, I guess, quick look at the UBAD DMT VTX with Hawkeye. Pretty cool to see all those guys teaming up because UBAD really paved the way with LaForge and I think they're doing a great job here teaming up with Hawkeye. And Hawkeye's made some great VTXs for a long time. I like the size of it. Well, actually, no, I like how it can stack into a nice little stack for that size. I do wish it was a little bit smaller, maybe came in the 20 by 20, but I don't know if that is actually possible. I like the LED on the top. I am worried about it breaking though, which I think might be a bit of a shame. Pigtail attached to it is pretty cool. It's great that it's got the TBS audio in there, so it looks like it's really doing things right, but it's also pretty expensive as well, especially when you can get some of the cheaper VTXs out there. So I think this one's going to do a lot right by a lot of pilots, but I guess it's up. On, it's a more on the pricey side of things. Anyway, what do you guys think about it? Drop some comments down below and what do you think about like these bonus videos coming out on a Tuesday maybe with you know some little tech highlights and those sorts of things I'd love to know what you guys think about that because I want to make more content I want to share more stuff with you and you know let's uh let's make some more videos anyway I guess subscribe for more FPV related content hit that notification button because I'm putting out videos every Monday Wednesday Friday Sunday and you know if you guys like it some tech Tuesday ones and as always Happy flying. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.